Call me crazy, but can we get back those days when a man and a woman could actually express how they feel towards each other without feeling like you're on pins and needles, without feeling like you're being judged, without feeling like you're wrong, without feeling like she's nagging, without feeling like she's bothering you? Can we just get back to days when we could just communicate with each other and come up with solutions and feel good about each other? I think to get to that point, we have to understand each other more and we have to understand how we all, how we differ rather and how we deal with stress and how we deal with uh, certain situations. Um, And you have to understand that, you know, men are not very, very vocal like that. A lot of times women are very vocal. Women talk a lot without actually looking for solutions. When men talk, it's because it's solution based. We've already kind of worked things out in our head. And then when it comes out, we're looking for solutions. And the thing is, a lot of times men get crucified for that. And women look at men like, I, you know, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want a solution like that. That's not, or that's not why I'm talking to you to get a solution. But that's a man's job is to try to solve something for you. If he sees that you're in pain, he sees that you're uh, stressed out or whatever the case may be. You know, our normal reaction is to try to solve it for you because we don't want that to be the case. But a lot of women don't appreciate that. And, you know, a lot of men don't understand how women tick either. You know, they don't understand that women just like to vent. Women like to talk. But the thing is, is that if you're a woman and you like to vent and you like to talk and you like to do all this type of stuff, you need to keep that with your girlfriends. You know what I'm saying? Talk to them because they can understand where you're coming from. But see what a lot of times, a lot of times uh, what happens is. Women look at men and say, well, I need you to be more open and I need you to share your feelings and I need you to do this. Men are not designed to do that. So women get frustrated with that. And then men get frustrated when women keep asking that, when women keep pushing that. So I think it, it really boils down to understanding each other and, and, and accepting the fact that we are different, that we don't see things the same way, because ideally You know, when you look at common sense, you say, well, you know, that's common sense. This person should see it like that. It makes perfect sense because it's it's common sense. But you have to understand that men and women see things differently. I know the media has schooled you and said everything is the same. Everybody is equal. And, you know, everybody should think the same. And, you know, it just doesn't work like that. So the more we can um, understand the differences between our sexes and Talk about what we actually want, what actually means uh, something to us, you know, what's important, um, what we need in that relationship. Like if you need someone to listen to you, you need to tell someone, I need you to listen to me. I need you to have this conversation with me. Because a lot of times what happens is people get in relationships and we just assume. You know what I'm saying? We assume that the other person knows what we're thinking. Well, I shouldn't have to tell him something. I I shouldn't have to tell her anything she should know. It doesn't work like that. You have to say, look, let's sit down at a certain time and discuss these priorities or let's discuss what's on this list because something that was important to somebody you got with two years ago, it might not be as important today. So it's very important to constantly have Um, you know, those conversations so we can understand each other and then don't blame someone or shame them because they don't see it or they don't vocalize it in the same way that you would. You know what I'm saying? I think that happens a lot. And like I said, don't assume, you know, just ask questions. There's nothing wrong with asking questions. Just like when you're in, in school, what did the teacher say? Raise your hand if you have a question. Don't feel shy about it. Don't feel bad about it. There's no dumb question. There's no silly question. It's the same thing in relationships. We have to communicate. We have to stop uh, blaming. We have to stop being passive aggressive. You know, if you need to talk about something, get it out. And, you know, things will be better. But, you know, until we can do that, I think we're just going to have a lot of these, you know, same problems. And you can tell that the majority of people are tired of this stuff. I mean, look at her face. You can tell she's tired of it. Hell, I'm tired of it. I know everybody is tired of it. Everybody wants to try to solve this, but we can't solve it if we don't listen. 
we don't respect people and we don't acknowledge that, hey, this person has a right to think and feel like they want. But even that person that has that right also has to extend that to other people. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.